My name is Emily Jane Ziegler, and when I was 11 years old, I moved to a school where I was bullied and mocked because I couldn't speak properly. It came to the point where in January 2015, I was sent to the emergency room for having a plan of suicide. My name is Jean Christigo, and I was a bully. I pushed him down and asked him how many times does he have to be told that nobody likes him? My name is Luis Castro, and I have been a witness to bullying, and I've seen how it's it affected people in the way they dress, and the way they act, and the way they talk, who they hang out with. I'm Caleb Casada, and in elementary school, I witnessed bullying. I wish I could have done something at the time. I saw a group of teens bullying a boy. Surrounding me and pushing me around. Even high school, but also out of high school. And for the longest time, it's become somewhat of a norm. Bullying never really stops. It causes me to not want to eat. I just don't know how I could have helped. We weren't sure if we could change the culture of bullying in our generation. We were just regular students. But we had a mission, and we had to try. At Olympian High School, we spend the entire year with the Common Senior Experience a program that encourages us to make a change by starting a small ripple. It is an opportunity for us to find unique solutions to tackle worldwide issues. We were inspired by New York Times journalist Emily Bazelon in her novel Sticks and Stones. In her novel, she gives the narratives of several teenagers who were bullied and how they were supported or not by their family, friends, schools, and communities. We teamed up with the Anti-Defamation League, an organization that rises against anti-Semitism and works to secure justice and fair treatment for all. With resources in hand, we were ready to start our mission. We wrote a book called I Love to Respect You, a simple children's story about friendship, empathy, and courage. It tells the story of Arvin, a little boy who stands up to a bully and tells a trusted adult about what happened. At the end of the book, we included discussion questions that parents and teachers could answer for their children. But our journey wasn't over. We presented at elementary school classrooms to teach children that bullying at any level is not okay. The first and second graders loved our presentation and they were very engaged. We gave them bracelets with the words, I love to respect you, to remind them of what they learned. We thought that this would be it, but when a local incident occurred where a young man got bullied and beaten, word got around that we created a children's book. People wanted to know more. We were even featured on the local news, KUSI. On KUSI, we shared what inspired us to write this book and our goal to sell them and share them with the community. Once the books came in, we ended up selling books much further than our local community. In total, we sold 65 books to individuals in San Diego, California, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, London, and the Philippines. Additionally, El Pollo Grill sold anti-bullying t-shirts and donated the proceeds to our cause, which will all go to the Anti-Defamation League. On a school level, we gave out more I Love to Respect You bracelets to raise awareness about respect and anti-bullying. We handed out 200 bracelets in total. This project has allowed me to develop several life skills, such as communication, teamwork, and creativity. I have also learned that it doesn't take a big organization to make a change. All it takes is a group of people who are as passionate and as devoted to finding a change as you are. Completing this project made me realize bullying is not just a TV show cliche. It affects everyone, no matter who you are. To overcome the issue of bullying, I know that we must promote empathy in the youth so that they can be the influence for generations to come. I thought I knew all there was to bullying. I knew it was complex, but I never understood how difficult it truly was in varying situations. This opened my eyes to that, and I am grateful for this opportunity to have made a change in someone's life for the better. At the end of the project, I was really surprised to know that we made a big impact. Common senior experience really is more than just a grade. It's an opportunity to change perspectives, including your own. 
I wouldn't be the person I am right now without going through the past year of researching bullying, supporting anti-bullying, and writing I love to respect you and reading it to children.